Welcome to Cadence Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we're going to walk you through the installation of the Fidelity Point One software in a Mac system. One thing you have to keep in mind is that in order to run Fidelity Point One in your Mac system, you're going to need a server machine with the Cadence License Manager installed and up and running, and also the License Proxy Server also installed and up and running. Keep in mind that the license proxy server is a piece of software that you need to have running only when you want to run Fidelity Pointwise in a Mac operating system. If you need more information about how to install the Cadence License Manager and the license proxy server, please check the videos that are linked in the description. Once you have the Cadence License Manager and the proxy app and running, you're ready to download the appropriate installer for your Mac system. For that, you're going to have to go to the Cadence Downloads page that is in downloads.cadence.com and look for the latest Fidelity Pointwise release. If you need more information about the Cadence Downloads page, also check the video linked in the description. All right, we are here in a Mac system, and this is the Cadence downloads page that I was talking about. As you can see, as my operating system right here on the left, I selected the other option because I'm trying to get the installer for a Mac system. And right here under releases, I actually selected the Fidelity Pointwise option. Now, this is the page that is going to be presented for you. And I am looking for the latest hotfix that I'm going to install. I have in here a download the link, and that is what you're going to click to download a local copy of the installer to your Mac system. All right, I have in here a terminal in my Mac system, and I am in my downloads folder. As you can see, I have the latest hotfix for the Fidelity Point was installer already downloaded in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that installer, which is going to open this right here. It's gonna mount that installer, and I'm going to double click right here on my installer. Now, because of the security that you have in your Mac operating system, a message like this one is gonna show up. This does not mean by any means that this installer is actually not safe. Since I know where this installer is coming from, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with open and the installer is going to launch. Enter my password right there. And this is my welcome screen. And basically, I'm going to go through my installation process. This is the right to use license agreement. I do recommend you take a look at it. And once you have read it and you're satisfied, you can click the I accept the right to use license agreement and click next. You can choose in here a default location for your installation. In this case, that option that it offers right there is fine. Click Next. I do want to create a desktop icon, so I'm going to leave that checked and click Next. And my installation is going to proceed. Depending on your system, this might take a few seconds or just a minute or two. All right, my installation has finished and I have a checkbox in there to go ahead and run Fidelity Pointwise, which I do want to do. Again, keep in mind that at this point, I already have my Cadence License Manager and also my proxy server up and running. Another thing that you're gonna need to do in order to actually run Fidelity Pointwise is to set up the environment variable called CDS underscore LIC underscore proxy underscore server as you see here in the window. You're actually going to specify the port for the proxy server and also the name of the server machine that is hosting that proxy server. Once those things are all set up, I can simply click Finish and let Fidelity Pointwise go ahead and launch. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, Drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.